Morning everybody. Right, um, I just wanted to give you a bit of an update on what's going on with the Skinhead reunion. Um, as you know, Boris Johnson made a statement the other day that uh, we're back in business um, in the UK. Um, now the only issue we've got is that we've got a reunion book for the first weekend of June as we normally do, um, but they're now saying that full um, openings are not going to be till the 21st of June, so we've got a little bit of a dilemma. Do we risk the beginning of June um, and hope it's all good and we can all come, or um, and risk what we had last year, which was sort of a very minimised numbers, um, outdoors, um, lots of stress, or do we postpone it um, until a few weeks later so we can involve everybody because my main issue is a lot is the Europeans there's a lot of Europeans that didn't come last year I think out of uh, the entire um, population last year we only had something like four or five from abroad we had a, a couple, few Americans um, we had a couple of Germans um, I think we had four Germans and two Americans as, as far as I can remember I don't think and I think one girl from Sweden I think that was all we got from abroad whereas normally we get a good couple of hundred from abroad um, and the UK we had about 250 that came um, and normally we're up to sort of you know five seven hundred people so I've got to really think about them we've postponed a lot of tickets over from 20 into 21 um, we've already sold a couple of hundred for this year as well so we're pretty much at, at sell out capacity um, so we've, you know, I'm not sure exactly how many more we're gonna we're gonna allow in we've got two venues this year which is good we got we're gonna use the Volks and we're gonna use uh, shorts up in um, up in Kemp Town as a pub so we've got a pub that's gonna be playing DJs like throughout the time um, we might I might put some other little bits of um, entertainment in there maybe a bit of acoustic guitar or something like that we'll have a little think about that but at the moment it's gonna be DJs um, and down in the Volks will be the same with our bands and DJs as always you know so we've got two two venues um, we have lots of problems always there was a bar next door again was you know oh, just causing aggravation um, that we had a few little issues around the lanes which we've got to iron out um, we have to be so so clean with the skinhead reunion you know it's ridiculous the amount of stress I get um, you know I'm getting complaints of a bar that you know a mile away there was nothing whatsoever to do with us but I have to deal with all this shit so I hope you can bear with me um, we've got lots of DJs all ready to go we've got lots of bands that want to play um, I'm gonna be very pleased to announce that um, the Beat are going to come back again this year because we had them last year and they were fantastic um, but it was so limited with the um, nobody allowed to dance and all that sort of stuff which was impossible considering what a good band they are um, but they're really happy they want to come back um, so I'll book them um, we've got lots of other bands um, lined up I need to speak to them all well, obviously I can't um, announce them until I've completely spoken to them and, and they've agreed what the situation is because again last year um, we had bands play one day due to dancing it got pulled we couldn't have bands the second day so I've had to pay all the bands you know that, that came whether they played or not um, so it's all cost me a load so I've got to pay for two events out of one one set of tickets so all I'm hoping is that I can get enough this year to be able to cover the costs of those two events um, to keep us going on into the future which at the end of the day we're very limited because we can only allow a certain amount of people end of so we're always limited within that and we don't get the big bands that you know that, that, that play big venues in for a couple of thousand people we just get small compressed you know we keep the skinhead culture skinhead reunion to the culture it is which to me is always been small sweaty venues you know that's where my whole skinhead life was all about little bars little clubs little places because we weren't allowed to play in big places so i'm not going to be able to sell out and start booking up big venues and get the you know the new york city rock star you know ii band and the california ia and the and the uh you know the, the the, the commercial Blackpool bands. I, I don't. I don't want that. I want to keep it real. Um, I also have to always, always have this big battle, especially with Oi. Um, you know all the different. Oh, the, the the interactions. You know, you book a band and they were blacklisted in some little bog town in Germany. So therefore, I'm a neo-Nazi. You know, uh, I book another band. Oh, they're a lefty lot from so and so. And it's just a lot of bullshit, right? I tried to keep the Skinhead reunion true to my own Skinhead beliefs, and that is genuine. I was a Skinhead from '78 onwards. I think many of you know me, right? I've never fucked about. I've always been who I am. All right. You can threaten me. You can give me as much 
much shit as you fucking want, I'm going nowhere, right? The more shit you give me, the more I'm standing. So fucking accept it, right? I still get shit this year. After 11 years of it, I had some twat the other day going, I don't go to the Skinhead reunion because he nicked it off my mate. Well, I, who is his mate? I've never met his mate. I've got no idea who his mate is. So whoever he was, no idea. I booked the Skinhead reunion in 2011 because my mate Craig Browning died. My mate Alfie died. My mate Phil Wall died. All right, my mate Lord died. That is why I booked the Skinhead reunion because I was fucked off for going to um, funerals, right? I wanted to get my mates together again. In instead of sitting crying about our friends and being depressed, I wanted to get us out there and say, look, let's live because we ain't got a lot of time on this planet, right? Let's have it. All right, so that's why we do the Skinhead reunion, right? And I get bands from all over the world now. We got Simmerip, you know. I mean, Simmerip used to be the backing band for Prince Buster. That's how, you know, they're limit. Lim uh, what is it? Legends, you know. They did the, the Skinhead Moonstomp album, you know. Look, this band, the Extroverts, these, that, that was the band that got me into it in the first place, right? They were a punk band of 76 from my town, right? They had a massive Skinhead following. Nothing to do with Oi. Long before Oi, Oi came later. You know, Gary Bushell coined the name and, and, he, and he took a load of street punk bands and put them together and created Oi. Well, these bands were playing before that. You know, Angela Cup starts, you, you know, Menace, The Extroverts, you know. Sham 69, these were the bands that we were into, you know. Um, oh, it was good, it came later, but you know, let, let's be honest here, you know, we're a culture that's gone on for 50 years. And again, with the, the whole reggae thing, you know, reggae's been going since what, 1964 or before or before that, you know, you got rock steady, ska, reggae, lovers rock, you know, all those different things. When in the early 80s, I got into reggae because the black kids in my estate were listening to it, right? It was nothing to do with skinheads. You know, all the blacks, the Rastas were listening to reggae. I liked it because it was all around me. It was the environment I grew up in, all right? It was nothing about being cool and, and telling someone who's 21 they can't be a skinhead because they weren't around in 1967. Well, it's bollocks. Neither was I. I came in 78, right? In 82, we were going down the halfway house, which was full of Rastas, listening to Yellow Man and, and um, you know, Eka Mouse and, and stuff like that, you know, but we also had... Um, you know, Liquidator and Double Barrel, those bands, the music was still being played at our discos, all right? So it's always been a mishmash of everything. Punk rock was our big, big thing. I loved the Sex Pistols. I loved the Damned. I loved um, the Ramones, X-Ray Specs. I even managed X-Ray Specs in later years, right? So don't tell me what's, what's, what's meant to be a skinhead and what's not meant to be a skinhead. We are the real thing, right? We're nothing to do with racism. Nothing at all to do with racism, all right? Get over that. We're nothing to do with Americans. We're nothing to do with Fred, you know, Yanks wearing Fred Perry's, right? Nothing to do with Donald Trump. We were long uh, around long before Donald Trump was, had bought his first hotel, right? So that's where, how long we've been around. We're not interested in that, all right? What we're interested in is bands like this who want to come and play, all right? They want to play some songs for us. And I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put on a song. What shall I put on? Let's put on this, right? This song was written by, um, actually, a bit of history here, <coughs> this song was written by Simmerip, all right? They wrote the song, they played it to Prince Buster's daughter, right? She liked it, so she spoke to Prince Buster and he released it as a single, right? Years later, the band, the beat, that we're gonna be playing this year, they played it, right? And, and recorded it. And this is, uh, for a lot of us, the, of my generation, the first time we ever heard it was the Beats version. But this song is, was written by Simmerip, played to Prince Buster's daughter, who went to Prince Buster and said, look at this song, this is a good one. He released it and got a massive hit out of it. So here's a little bit of history for you. I mean, if you can name that tune before it comes on, let's see how, let's see how expert all you geeks are on your Scar, you know, Trojan, you know, I know everything and there is to know about everything. Well, here's a little bit you may not know. Name that tune in one. Yeah. 
as soon as possible the new date which I reckon is probably going to be in July but I shall let you know so don't try not to book your hotels just yet until you know we should know Monday all right so I'm going to post this today and share it around because I'm banned from Facebook again as obviously as usual like I always am so uh, here we go I'll see you when I do stay stay uh, safe stay safe keep the unity